this is going to be Charles and William, you know, the princes. And listen, if you could, just like, subscribe. That does help a lot. It moves the channel along and it helps me uh, achieve the goals that I need to to keep going. So thank you very much. <laughs>
And so Andrew has given him no other choice but to do that. It's almost karmic, and it's just like this is what has to happen. So Charles and Andrew, what's the signifier for that relationship? Uh, that is the Nine of Wands, and the Nine of Wands is just, you know, um, kind of being on the outside. You can see this wall right here. Uh, this um, this uh, woman is holding on to a wand, which wands are actions, plans, uh, forward motion, um, and she's, but she's on the outside of the wall, and you would presume that's the castle inside, and look at all the actions and the plans that are inside there. Well, she's been left outside of all those plans. She has a plan of her own, but she's pretty much been left outside to fend for herself. And so this is uh, Andrew. This is Andrew, absolutely. So the uh, challenge to that then is uh, the devil. Of course it is. If that's Andrew, and uh, what's gotten him into all this trouble to begin with is the devil. Wow, that's amazing. Uh, the basis of this reading then is the uh, the magician. So this is good because the uh, you know just having the monarchy behind you, you would almost feel like you've always got that magic card, that magic something, so many things uh, that can be used to help you out uh, that, um, that this would be it. And so this magician is right down here at the base of the whole thing. And I think that is that represents the monarchy. And in the past of this reading, uh, we have the two of coins. Oh, yeah, of course it is. It's trying to keep all this stuff balanced, keep these values balanced. And that's what's having to happen right now. Uh, sadly, uh, this reading seems to be more about um, Andrew than it does Charles. Although the um, certainly what happens to Andrew uh, is um, certainly at the... Um, if not the behest of Charles, certainly the Queen and Charles are weighing in on this together. Sky for this reading for uh, Charles and Andrew, Two of Swords, oh yeah, having to choose a way to go, having to pick a side. And uh, Charles is always going to pick the monarchy. The Queen has always chosen the monarchy, and uh, that's what Charles is going to do. Let's make room for everything here. Um, and then the likely outcome of this whole thing is uh, the Hermit. And yes, so what will happen here, is, this represents two things to me. It's The hermit is uh, Andrew being put out to pasture, or or, or maybe also it's uh, Charles really looking at the path forward and doing what he thinks, uh, you know, lighting the way. His eyes are almost closed. Uh, it's almost instinctual what he knows he has to do. Uh, so I think it represents both of them. So that's a pretty good set of cards for both of them. This uh, Nine of Wands is certainly uh, Andrew outside the um, the full protection of the walls of the uh, monarchy where there's lots of actions and plans and he's carrying his own and then but uh, the challenge to the whole thing of course was the devil and the basis of the uh, reading is the magician really having so many tools at his disposal even in this perilous time and then uh, the past was the two coins there's always having to weigh uh, between the two but there's always no doubt that which of the two were going to be on top uh, the sky of this reading is making that choice you know making that hard truth justice choice and then the uh, likely outcome is the Hermit card for both of them because it, it leaves Andrew on his own and it puts uh, Charles in a position of looking towards uh, the future with that uh, lantern of the monarchy. So we have that. So now we'll look at William and Harry and see uh, what this tells us about those two. And that's in the correct order. You know, William is the top dog. Harry was always the spare. And now uh, he's not a necessary spare any longer. So William and Harry... William and Harry, what can the cards tell us about you two? So William has the awesome uh, duty of looking at what's happening towards the future of the monarchy, but he, what he may not uh, understand or may not um, seem apparent to him is he has this grace period right now where he can uh, just be a brother, you know? But I'm sure he's getting lots of pull from the... Um, from inside uh, to stand with the monarchy and uh, emulate his father uh, and uh, they probably feel like they're both going through the same thing I can just hear the conversations you know oh my gosh my brother and Charles oh my gosh my brother so yeah so let's see what we have here for William and Harry so six cards two <coughs> three four five six William and Harry what can the cards tell us about that relationship that's going on right now um, William and Harry what a shame that seems the signifier card for for that relationship William and Harry three of cups so well, this is very interesting because the uh, three of cups is uh, you know cups are passion emotion and uh, the the three of cups represent celebration now although in this card I have to say that someone seems like they're a little off to the side 
you know, they're not quite as included uh, as the other two. So uh, for the relationship of William and Harry, uh, these celebrations uh, seem to be not so comfortable. The challenge to that then is the Five of Cups. And the Five of Cups is perfect because, again, we're still in cups. It's very hurtful with these two. Uh, this is the first time I will say that William has experienced a deep cut from his brother, whereas Charles uh, has had a lifetime you know, of seeing uh, how his brother's actions have affected uh, the monarchy. So, uh, so yeah, for William, this is still very emotional. Though. That's why we have all these cups. The self uh, is a little bit outside of the celebration, really not quite being able to come together. And, uh, and then, you know, looking at what we've, we've got to clean up, looking at the mess that's made that we're left behind with, and then, uh, and then having to carry on. I think not seeing further past that is the issue. The base of this reading for William and Harry, then, is the Ten of Coins. And you know what? The Ten of Coins is happy family. The base of this reading is that at some point, this was a wonderful relationship. It was working so well, and the family was clicking along just the way it, could, it should have been. And I think that uh, William is stuck in uh, wanting that back. And then the um, past of the, of the reading here is the Moon card, which is secrets being revealed. You know, you know, all the stuff is coming out that you didn't think of was so important, and it is important. And it's better to face it now than to let it fester. The Two of Cups is up, up in the sky here. So that's great because the Two of Cups is getting together, you know, uh, making a union. Uh, we've, and, and look at all the cups again. And um, that's where we're aiming for. That would be the best thing. And you have to think that William thinks that too. Uh, it's somewhere uh, in his heart. So the Two of Cups is, uh, you know, ha making uh, a, a pact, a union. And the likely outcome of this William and Harry situation is the Page of Wands, and the Page of Wands is, the, you know, Wands are uh, actions, plans, forward motion, and the Page is just the very weakest of the um, of the court cards. So I would say that this these plans for moving forward are just just at the, the very weakest they can be. They are in the realm of the court, but they're not anywhere near uh, as important as if a knight was carrying or a queen. So that's where we are with William and Harry. Um, I don't know. Do we have another question in this? In this reading, let's see. Let me think about it while I put these cards back together. And um, I want to find out regarding this William and Harry. Let's just draw three, maybe four cards to see if um, Prince Charles and Prince Andrew and Prince William and Prince Harry, if all the decisions that everyone's making uh, for each other is going to affect the other one in a positive way. That's what I want to say. So we'll take four cards to see if Prince Charles, Prince uh, Andrew, Prince William, and Prince Harry find a way that the, the answers that come out of all this um, uh, is an obvious benefit to everyone. The first card up on that is the Ten of Wands, and it's a big, heavy load to carry. And I want you to notice that there's a woman carrying that load. And I've always felt like Kate was the one who was going to be carrying water for this monarchy for the, all of her life. So that's um, Ten of Wands, a big, heavy load, but it's possible. Look at that. It's able to be carried forward. So I'm wanting to know if the decisions that these two sets of brothers make uh, affect uh, uh, some realization in each other. The second card up, then, is the Two of Wands. So that's interesting, the Ten of Wands and the Two of Wands. And the Two of Wands is, you know, Wands, again, are, are actions, plans, mo moving, moving forward. And the two of wands is I like to think of always as kind of short term uh, plans. Um, the third card in this uh, Charles, Andrew, William, uh, Harry is the world. And so the third card, the world is completing a cycle. We've done the whole thing. We've made the whole trip and it's time for something new to happen. But it's been um, it's come to a completion. And the fourth card in this is the king of cups. And that's uh, compassion. And um, so these two men. Uh, Charles and William are the kings. I mean, they just are. And the king uh, has to come forward with a, a nice cup of compassion. And we see that he's even uh, broken into this lovely uh, pie to share for everyone. So and that's a very compassionate thing to do. So I would say that the answer to that is certainly very much yes. Uh, we've got an even distribution of the weight being carried by women and then completion and then the king's uh, uh, in the end, understanding that this opp opportunity for compassion and nourishment uh, is here for all. 
So that was a nice way to end the thing, as a matter of fact. So and the, the final question was, uh, will the decisions of two sets of two brothers and other brothers uh, all affect each other? And we started out with the Ten of Wands in that it's a heavy load to push forward. But who's carrying it? The women are carrying it. And then the, um, uh, the next card that came up uh, was the Two of Wands, which are short-term plans, and again, in the hands of the women. Uh, then we talk about uh, where are we at, at this moment, I suppose, and it's at the completion of a cycle. It may not seem like it, but we're getting to the completion of the answers. Uh, Andrew's situation is going to be rolling down, and also Harry's situation is going to be cranking up, and so that's a perfect representation of this world card. One thing ending, nothing starting, and then in the end, it's up to who? It's up to the two kings. Okay, it's up to the kings to come to the game with a big cup full of compassion and uh, and nourishment and uh, to uh, um, protect the monarchy, actually, and protect each other and the brothers. I'm Mark, My Journey Through Tarot. Tomorrow's another day. Stop by. We'll do it again. Ciao for now.